Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through Moralgia Parasthetica. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash Moralgia Parasthetica or in the orthopaedic section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Moralgia Parasthetica refers to localized sensory symptoms of the outer thigh which is caused by compression of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. This is a mononeuropathy, meaning that only a single nerve is affected. Let's start with some basic anatomy. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve originates from varying combinations of L1, L2 and L3 nerve roots. It comes from behind the psoas muscle, then it runs around the surface of the iliacus muscle, and then it runs under the inguinal ligament onto the thigh, just medial and inferior to the anterior superior iliac spine, or the ACIS. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve supplies sensory innervation to the upper outer thigh, Pressure, deformity or trauma to the nerve can occur at several places along its route. Notably, this can occur where it passes below the inguinal ligament. It's this pressure, deformity or trauma that causes malfunctioning of the nerve and the symptoms of neuralgia parasitica. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve only carries sensory symptoms. Therefore, there are no motor symptoms associated with neuralgia parasitica. Let's talk about the presentation. Patients present with abnormal sensations, which is called dysesthesia, and a loss of sensation, which is called anesthesia, in the distribution of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And this affects the skin of the upper outer thigh. Patients may describe symptoms of burning, numbness, pins and needles, or a cold sensation. There may also be localised hair loss on the upper outer thigh. And symptoms can be aggravated by walking or standing for a long duration and they can improve with sitting down. Symptoms are often worse with extension of the hip on the affected side. And this movement of extending the hip can be used to reproduce the symptoms on examination to help support the diagnosis. So let's talk about the diagnosis. The diagnosis of neuralgia parasitica is mainly clinical based on the history and examination findings. Other investigations may be used to rule out other causes, for example nerve root compression in the spine or pelvic tumours that may be compressing the nerve. Finally let's move on to management. Symptoms vary from mild and self-limiting to severe and persistent. The management will vary depending on the severity of the symptoms and management can be conservative, medical or surgical. Conservative management involves rest, wearing looser clothing because tight clothing such as belts may add pressure to the nerve, weight loss if this is appropriate and physiotherapy. Medical management is based around analgesia if pain is a feature such as paracetamol, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, neuropathic analgesia such as amitriptyline, gabapentin, pregabalin or geloxetine, and local injections of steroids or local anaesthetics. Surgical management may involve decompression, which is removing pressure on the nerve, transection, which is cutting the nerve, or resection, which is removing the nerve. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel, thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel, there's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.